Hey, fourth grade, how's it going? Mr. Joseph here. Happy Monday, October 12th, 2020. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the measures of unknown angles and squares and rectangles. You need your prime book 4A, and we're going to start with working on page 133. Remember, boys and girls, when you see this icon, you're going to pause the video so you can answer the question on your own. Let's start with page 132. Last time, boys and girls, we looked at different angle measurements, okay? And I think it's really important to understand that these angle measurements, since they're going to be either squares or rectangles, are within 90 degrees. So I already started your problem on the page, um, just so we can understand that concept a little bit more, all right? The first problem we have is finding the angle measurement of measure M N Q, which is right here, M N Q. So what could this angle measurement be right there? Well, if we understand that this is from 90 degrees, all we need to do, boys and girls, is take 90 degrees and then subtract the angle measurement that we already have, 64, and we'll come up with 26. Again, I'll do that on the screen. 90 minus 64 is going to give us this angle measurement right here. 10 minus 4 is 6, and 8 tens minus 6 tens is 26 tens. So 26 degrees is going to be your answer. All right, let's do the next problem together. What I'd like you to do is try to figure out the answer from 90 degrees. We're given 45 degrees, and we need to find the measurement of x, z, y. So x, z, y is this right here, x, z, y. So what would this angle measurement be? Well, I know that I need to subtract from 90 degrees, 90 minus 45 equals 45. If I wanted to check that, I could check that. I could take 45 plus 45 to see if that equals 90. 45 right here plus 45. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1 to the 10 spot. 4 plus 4, 10 plus 1, 10 is 9, 10. So 90 degrees is my total. So I know that 45 is correct. Check your answers to make sure that you got the correct answer. Let's go on to the next part. Page 132 has us finding the measurement of FEG. FEG is right here. If we subtract from 90, 90 minus 26, we're going to come up with what answer? 90 minus 26 is 64. Let's show that on the screen. 90 degrees, which is this angle right here. It's a 90 degree angle, a right angle, minus 26. 0 minus 6 we can't do, so we go to the tens column. 9 changes to 8, and we bring that 10 over here to our ones column. 10 minus 6 is 4, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So 64 is correct. Technically, 64 plus 26 is going to give us our total, which is 90 degrees. Let's do the next problem together. I know that this whole angle right here is a right angle. In other words, it's 90 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 90 minus 62. 90 minus 62. is going to give me 28. So I know that my answer is 28 degrees. All right, now that we've found both of our answers, boys and girls, I want you to try the next couple of problems on your own. Make sure you understand that you're subtracting from 90 degrees. All right, on page 133, you need to understand that you are, again, subtracting from 90 degrees. So let's do a couple of these problems together. This angle right here is a 90 degree angle. In other words, it's a right angle. 
So if I subtract 25 degrees that I'm given, I will get my missing angle right here, which is TSR, TSR. All right, so let's figure that out. I know that I can take 90 minus 25 and get 65. If you didn't do letter B, pause the video and do letter B. To find the measure of angle C, D, G, we need to do the same thing. Subtract 90 minus 43, which is the angle that we're given, so we can understand what is the angle measurement of C, D, G. In other words, this, C, D, G. This angle, plus 43, is 90 total. So 90 minus 43 equals 47 degrees. If you wanted to check it, you could. You could take 47 plus 43, and that would give you 90. 7 plus 3 is 10. 4 plus 4 plus 110 is 910. So 90 is your total. And that gives us our correct answer, 43 plus 47. In other words, 43 plus 47 equals 90 degrees. So 47 must be the correct answer. Let's go to the next part. On page 133, letter C, we're supposed to find the measurement of the missing angle. We know, boys and girls, that this angle is 24. And we also know that this angle is 45. But we don't know this angle right here. What we do know is that all three angles added together equal our magic number 90. In other words, this angle plus this angle plus this angle are going to equal 90 degrees. So what could we do to try to figure out the missing angle? Well, again, we're going to subtract from 90 degrees. Let's do that. I know that 90 minus 45 minus 24 is going to give me 21. And if I wanted to add up all those answers just to make sure I did it correctly, we could say 45 degrees plus 21 degrees plus 24 degrees should equal 90. 5 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. And 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90 degrees. All right, we found our correct answer, 21 degrees. And if you look at it, this one's much smaller. 21 is much smaller than 45. It's a much larger angle, right? So that makes a lot of sense. Let's do the next problem. The next problem says we're supposed to find the angle measurement of angle NCM. Angle NCM is right here. We already know the angle measurement of this and this angle. It says it's 12 and 48. So what could this angle measurement be? Let's subtract from 90, just like before. I know that 90 is our total right angle. I'm going to subtract 48 and 12 to get 30 degrees. In other words, 12 plus 30 plus 48 is going to equal 90 degrees my right angle. Okay, good. Let's try the next problem. On page 133, I would like you to do letters E and F on your own. Make sure you're on the correct page and you're doing the correct numbers. Pause the video and try these problems on your own. All right, let's check your answers. I know that the measure of Z, W, M is equal to, in other words, we have Z, W, M, Z, W, M is equal to 58 plus some number. So we can actually take 90 degrees minus 58 to try to come up with this angle right here. Let's try that. So 90 minus 58 equals 32. In other words, 
the angle measurement right here is 32 degrees. Let's continue. I also know in order to find MXY, MXY is right here. MXY. I know this angle is 40. So what would this angle be? Let's subtract from 90 to find out. If I take 90 minus 40, that's going to give me 50 degrees. In other words, boys and girls, we now know that this angle measurement is 32 degrees, and this angle measurement is 50 degrees. You'll also notice, and I'm going to change the color so I can show you, 50 plus 40 equals 90, and 58 plus 32 also equals 90. Let's do letter F. Letter F says, H I J K is a square. So, what is the measure of K H I? Let's find out. K H I is right here. Well, K H I is going to be a right angle. How many degrees is a right angle again? A right angle is 90 degrees. Let's continue with the next step. I know that I'm going to take 90 degrees minus 30, which is what we're given, minus 27 to find my missing angle. What is this angle right here? Let's try something. Let's add 27 plus 30 and then subtract from 90 degrees. 30 plus 27 equals 57. Now, what I can do is, since I already subtracted from here, I'm going to take 57 and subtract that from 90. 90 minus 57. Can't do 0 minus 7, so I'm going to make that an 8. Here we go. 10 minus 3. 7 is 3. And 8 minus 5 is 3. So 33 degrees should be my answer. Let's check to see if it's correct. All right, 90 minus 30 minus 27 is 33 degrees. So I did that correct. Check your answers to make sure that they're all right. All right, boys and girls, next time we're going to be getting into the length of the sides. We don't have a lot of time to get into this topic for today, but just letting you know that on page 134 and 135, you're going to be understanding more about the lengths of the sides. Okay, so last time, or actually during this class, we were looking at the angles. During our next class, you're going to be looking at the mm -hmm. sides. Okay, those are both properties of shapes, and those are things that you need to know. Okay, so we'll get into page 134 next time. Thank you for being attentive during this class. If there's any time during class, boys and girls, I would encourage you to check out this brain pop video. Check with your teachers to see if you can play. Or if there's time, here's a Kahoot that you might be able to play. If any of these topics are difficult, boys and girls, I would encourage you to look at the video from last time. On October 5th, we learned about squares and rectangles. Thank you very much for being attentive and for your participation. We will see you next time.